guys and welcome back to another one today we're back with Cameron and wing chaser and today we got all of our buddies here I mean we're having a massive two-day session of nothing but out here with wing chaser and Cameron and the boys and we are just doing it big let me tell you we set my whole spread just about everything I got in my trailer and like on that last video oh yeah we got the clones running today baby we got three over there three here and two here a lot of you seen these clones in action on uh, the last hunt that I came out here with Cameron and they just they do work it's completely game over the the, the motion that these bad boys make is it's the realest motion decoy I've ever seen in my life but we're laying in white today as you can tell if you haven't checked out the ducks thermal white hoodies the new ones I'll link them down below if you want to pick one up you know how you guys when you pick something up from ducks it goes directly to supporting your boy and me making more of these videos 14 man hunt today 14 this might be one of the biggest goose hunts as far as bodies go that I've done all season so let me show you the spread here I'm actually standing right in the kill hole but this is a spread. I am in the kill hole. We got a couple little family groups out here in the kill hole. Cameron's doing a little different out here this time. But look at the massive spread we got, boys. Goodness gracious. Up front, we got all the silos, all the silhouettes, specks, and Canada's. And out back, we got all the white socks, and that's where everybody's, right where everybody's standing in line. That's where we'll be laying down. This was the weekend I was actually supposed to be in Arkansas and they've been getting nothing but a ton of rain and so I invited all the buddies from Arkansas I'm like you know what come to Kansas we won't be muddy we won't be laying in water uh, and besides the mud and everything nobody's killing snows in Arkansas they're all adults like I've talked about all year so I, I hit up Cameron and was like you got room for 14 guys he's like yep come on we're here and we just gonna send it boys there we go first group Nice. I don't think I even got that one on camera. Just busted one. Goodness, they dumped them. That was good shooting. Here we go. They are on the deck. Low. Oh man, I couldn't touch them. One of them went down out there. Golly, they are far though. That's that's farther than it than it kind of looks, isn't it? Oh yeah. Well. A little slow everything that's came over the top of us has came over this way and not liked it a whole bunch the big groups really didn't but we're starting to shoot some oh 
<laughs> he got annihilated. Well, he's dead. Oh no! Hit him three times. Oh, that was a late pull up over there, left side. Oh, right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Finally. <laughs> Last one, last one. Nice. Nice shot. Man, I clicked on the first round. My goodness. Oh boy, look at all them white birds. Goodness, 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 goodness. I'm going to sit here and record this for a minute and talk just because that is a beautiful sight. Now there is some darks and some specks mixed in there, but that is a lot of snows. Today is opening day of conservation uh, snow goose season here in Kansas. Yesterday was the end of dark geese. And if you guys follow me on social media, like Instagram right here, you would have seen, man, <clears throat> we put down some piles this weekend. Like I said, we put down some piles this weekend and kind of the title of this video, the reason this video is titled the way it is, is because this weekend, uh, a lot of you guys remember me saying I was gonna go to uh, Arkansas for snow goose conservation. Well, if any of you have paid attention to the snow goose hunting scene lately, especially down in Arkansas, not a lot of good luck. Some good luck here and there, but for the most part, it's been doing nothing. And I mean nothing but raining, awful weather. I mean, every field is literally standing water, and they're all trying to kill adult snow geese. And a lot of you have been here all season long, and I've preached about adult snows and how hard they are. And a lot of you have experienced it for yourself, the difficulty of these uh, old white birds. So all in all, I filmed the first hunt. We, we killed, what was it, 16 birds total there. I ran the big camera most of the time. I think I shot twice. But the next two days, uh, we went with Cameron the next day, which was Saturday, and we did a 16-man limit. And then the next day, the Arkansas guys and, and a lot of the group that was with me came with me uh, to my hometown. We scouted. Uh, my buddy Jordan found the field, got permission on it, and we sat up a juicy, juicy spread, and they loved it. Now... I didn't film those hunts. That's what this video is titled about. That's the reason for me. I want to explain something. I didn't film those hunts. It was the last weekend of dark geese. And uh, it was a good weekend. I, a lot of people were killing them. We've seen that their commitment on Saturday was the best committing birds that I've experienced all year. That being said, they're moving right now. We have a lot of movement going on. A lot of birds are piling up in Kansas, trying to start to rebound back north. And Nebraska's pretty frozen up still. They're getting some weather. I think they got another three inches of snow the other day, maybe even five. So Nebraska weather, uh, the state north of us basically is stalling these birds. So we're getting a lot of pushing going on, a lot of moving. And those lessers, those Canada lessers, boy, they were hungry all weekend. So I didn't film those two hunts. We uh, did some damage, but one of the reasons uh, why I didn't film was it was the last weekend. I wanted to enjoy it. I wanted to soak it in. I wanted to hunt. I didn't want to juggle and and a lot of you probably understand what i'm talking about when it comes to this camera and my gopro and trying to create video content and a good video that you guys might like it does it takes my my time away from hunting and my enjoyment factor for hunting decreases it's sad but it's true i'm not i'm not complaining about that whatsoever i'm being honest and stating the fact i put down the cameras i shot my gun i blew my goose call I called the shots and it was awesome. I loved it so much. 
Oh, but as you can see, we're scouting. I, I really hope that a lot of you, I'm gonna roll up this window. I really hope that a lot of you appreciate what I'm telling you. I, I understand that I didn't get uh, just banger videos out of those two banger hunts. And I, and I could have. They could have been glorious videos. I mean, action packed and whatnot. But at the same time, I felt like I deserved to have, a, have as much fun as I could and enjoy the last weekend of regular goose season. If you all agree with that, you know what you gotta do. You gotta give me a big ol' thumbs up and drop a comment b below and, and tell me, just just give me your two cents. Be like, Bobby, we hear you out. It's okay. You're gonna keep coming with the videos. We know you are. It's all right. You deserve it. If you if you think that, if you, if you feel the same way I do, thank you so much. I mean, honestly, um, I got into doing this and providing videos for y'all for my passion and love for waterfowl hunting. Uh, this was secondary, you know, it's, it's, it's primary now, it's very important, the channel and videos, but every now and then, man, a brother has to have his time away. You gotta enjoy what you love most, and, and, and hunting, I gotta say, I've always loved more than video work. Do I love video work and editing? Yeah, I've made it part of my life, but, the, but at the end of the day, it does take away from my enjoyment of hunting, so. I hope you guys uh, approve of my statement. Um, it is what it is. I wish I would have filmed them because I'm telling you what, it was the best, best commitment out of birds I've seen all year. Um, my hunt yesterday, uh, we were we were decoying huge, huge, huge groups of lessers, and I have had no luck at doing that all season. Very minimal. Like I stated, today is the first day of conservation season. I'm out here scouting. I'm out here trying to find these white birds. It's time to take the plug out of the gun, put the extension tube back on that bad boy. I got to go home after we're done scouting. I probably won't get done scouting until about noon. So I'm going to let y'all ride along with me when I find a feed. I'm going to film it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk about it real quick, see how many feeds that we can find here. And uh, once we get back home here in a little while, I have a few of my goodies that I want to share with y'all. My tube extension, y'all have been asking about what brand is it, how many shells does it hold, and my e-collar. A ton of you have been DMing me on Instagram asking me what e-collar I use. And it is a Snows Down Low e-collar, Snows Down Low sounds. Uh, I have an app to show you with all those sounds that you can put on your phone for free. Got some awesome, awesome stuff to show you once we get back at the shop. Look at this. That's a little bitty dark feed with some white in it. But look how many blackbirds are out there with them. They're literally just flying around in the spread with them. That's as far as my camera zooms in. Hope you guys can see that. Blackbirds are just mobbing them. These snows are on the road. <laughs> look at that. Two foot from the road. Well, here back at the house now, and like I promised, I have something to show y'all. It's something every year, every conservation season when it rolls around, you know, after you've been getting skunked by sitting out white decoys and trying to actually shoot snow geese during regular season. Yeah, this is the time that I get really excited to sit out the e-collar. Now, a lot of you are new to the channel from last year. All my last year subscribers and viewers that have been here, all of you know the Snows Down Low e-collar that I used and what it's used for. Everybody that don't understand the dynamic and what's going on here is that snow goose conservation season, which just started up today. That's why we've been scouting for the snow geese all morning. You're allowed to use this bad boy right here. Now, this is a Snows Down Low e-collar, and let me tell you what. I had mentioned it a little bit before in the video while we were scouting, but with this bad boy, I control this with my phone. So how the system works is I run a Bluetooth device just like this one here. And what that does is allows me to connect my phone to the unit to run sound through the wire to the speakers. Now all in all, there are four speakers total. Just like this one here, they're big old bullhorns. Literally the megaphone, the bullhorn, however, whatever you call those things, the loudest speaker that you can get. Yeah, you run four of them. So when you put all four of these bad boys on there, 
it gets loud. And all of the tracks that you use are all snow goose tracks and they mimic feeds and certain size of feeds. All the sounds, all the snow goose sounds that are on the Snows Down Low app are all produced by Snows Down Low. They're awesome sounds, they're crisp. And I'm telling you, they are tasty. They sound very crisp. They're clean sounds. There's not a lot of distortion, static, or background noise. They're very crisp sound. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up here. So this is only, this volume here is with one speaker and only at about 5% volume. Now we'll turn it up a little bit. <clears throat> There's the app. I don't know how good you can see it, but as you can see, you can play two tracks at one time. Let me go ahead and turn this down a minute. It's loud. I don't think you guys can hear me very well. So you can run two tracks at one time. So what you do is, I'm playing the bottom one, and I can play the top one too. And it's loud. It's at 100%. So now, let me turn that down. So now we're playing two tracks at one time. And what this app allows you to do, this is the Snows Down Low app, is you can go into the options just like this, and what you can do is fade the sound back and forth. So you're probably like, what do you mean fade the sound back and forth? So what happens here on this unit, it has four speakers like I told you. So there's two speakers on the left bank and two speakers on the right bank. And what this app allows you to do is take both tracks that you're playing at once, and you can push those sounds from the right side to the left and then back from the left to the right. So both sounds, you can add movement to the spread between all four speakers. Because essentially, you have four speakers split in two that has a left and right bank. Sorry, I was trying to describe it there. But it's really neat. It allows you to mimic wind. So in high wind situations that you know how uh, a lot of times when you go scout and... Um, it's windy and you can hear them and when it gets windier you it's you can hear them you know more or less or vice versa that's what it does this app is very dynamic it's very smart and Jameson from snows down low the owner of snows down low he is a brainiac he he really came up with an awesome system and not only is he a brainiac but he's been hunting snow geese forever I think he's been hunting them for like 15 18 20 years maybe even over 20 years He's a great guy and he's very smart when it comes to these white birds. He's got them figured out with this e-collar. So I suggest you guys, if you're looking for a really quality e-collar, and not only a quality e-collar, but Jameson really stands behind his product. He has awesome customer service. He's always willing to help you out when you have a problem or a question. I can tell you right now, this is my second season going on having my e-collar, and I have not had one issue with it. I'm pretty sure he just updated all the sounds on the app. So this app, I'll put the uh, link down in the description below for the Snows Down Low e-collar and his app. I believe it's free. The first, like, the first version is free and it comes with like, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 sounds. So you guys really need to check it out if you're interested. I will link it down below. So last year I was having to run an adapter just like this to adapt to my phone and then I'd actually have to have the unit beside me at all times because I'd have to have my phone connected to it, you know, actually plugged in and connected to it. This year with this Bluetooth little gig, it's going to allow me, and as you all know, we're hunting adults. Uh, it was a bad hatch, low number of ju juvies, I'm sure you all have heard about it. So this year I want to get out of them decoys as much as possible. I want to run a lot of full body spreads with, a, with some socks sprinkled in. So that Bluetooth device is going to allow me to get my e-collar out in that spread, put out the speakers, all four of them, out in the spread, me get out of the spread and let the decoys and the spread and the sound do their work. I believe when you lay in the decoys, you're really chopping down your chances of having the birds do it good. Decoy over the spread. So, I got a few uh, ideas up my sleeve to, to try to get into these white birds this year. They're going to be hard, they're old, they are tough. But I know that I have a good setup, a reliable setup. It's going to give me the best chance to get at them. But since the old uh, regular season is over, I'm going to go take the plug out of the old punk gun and put the uh, extension tube back on. But I really want to give a big shout out to Wing Chasers, Cameron at Wing Chasers. Uh, they let us use their lodge. He put us up in the lodge. Awesome two-night stay. 
Uh, them boys scouted their butts off, put us on some darks up there. We got into them with the 16 man limit. I hope you all had a great regular season. I'm going to try to get after the snows here for conservation, as you know. I hope you guys are going to try to get after them too. They're going to be tough, but you got to try. If you don't try, nothing ever happens and you don't learn anything. But if you haven't checked out the new Snow Goose hoodie from Ducks, I will link that bad boy down below. But guys, if you haven't subscribed, you really need to do so. If you like this video, give me a big, big old, big, little, little, big old thumbs up, if I could talk right. Have a good one, y'all. We will see you on the next one. <laughs>